Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining today's new CEO training call. My name is Sabrina Rare. I am the training manager here at Via One Hope. Um, today's call, we're going to be going over the compensation plan. Um, I'm gonna be going over some key terms. Um, also, I'm going to be going through um, the Fast Start program, business booster points, and then the compensation plan all the way through director, um, just so you can understand um, you know, our, the basics of our comp compensation plan. Um, right now I'm going to share my screen so you guys can see the terms that I'm going to be going over right now. Okay, so these are our key terms. Um, for a compensation plan. You can find this in your back office in the VIA University section under training and then um, downloads and printables. If you just scroll down and find it, um, it's called the uh, One Hope Compensation Plan. Um, so this is towards the bottom of the compensation plan. I think this is, I'm not sure what page this is. Let's see if I can find that information for you. Page 17. Uh, so it's very much towards the end of it. I'm just going to be going through um, a couple specific key terms so that you can understand what I'm saying uh, when I go through the compensation plan. Um, one thing that's super important is that we do not, here at VO One Hope, we do not have a minimum order for our CEOs. There's no minimum order re orders required as a CEO, so that's super important to know um, if you don't already know that. One thing, um, we do mention retail or retail sales a lot um, in our compensation plan. Retail sales, the easiest way to know if it's a retail sale is if you receive commission on it. If you're paid commission on a sale, that means it's a retail sale. Um, that includes sales from events, one-on-one -on -one contacts, personal orders, website orders, wine club orders, um, anything along those lines and then um, what is not considered a retail sale is anything placed through your back office shopping cart um, That's going to be when you log into your back office you go to main menu and then you go to shop anything placed in that shopping cart um, Is not going to be paid commission. Therefore. It's not a retail sale. I hope that makes sense um, Active and qualified these two terms are kind of interchangeable um, the most important thing that we want you to remember is qualified. A CEO must reach $250 in PCV, personal commissional volume, within a calendar month to be considered qualified for that same calendar month. So that is super important. So that is $250 in retail sales gets you qualified for that month. Okay, let's see here. So commission, I mentioned that term earlier. That is the money a CEO receives from personal sales activity. Commission is calculated at 20 to 25% based on your monthly PCV. PCV is personal commissionable volume, um, and it is the retail sales submitted by the CEO after any customer discounts. Um, this is the amount at which the 20 or 25% commission is paid. Um, so PCV is how we, um, I guess, pay you on your commissions. That's what that's saying. Downline. So if you are a new CEO and you're interested in growing your team, in other words, sponsoring CEOs on your downline, um, then this is what a downline is. The term used to describe the organization that a CEO builds. It consists of people that the CEO recruits and the people they recruit and so on. So say um, I brought on my, my mom, Diane, um, and then she decided to bring on my aunt, Denise. Um, so that would then be my downline. Diane would be my first on my first downline, and then my Aunt Denise would be on my second downline um, because my mom brought her on, um, just to give you an example there. Upline. So upline is the person directly above you in the tree. 
So the ge genealogy or line of recruiting above you in the organization. It starts with your mentor and then goes to your mentor's mentor and so on. So um, similar to say my aunt Denise wanted to know who her up upline was. Her, her direct upline would be my mom, Diane, and I would be her upline's upline. My name is Sabrina. Um, so that's just to give you an idea there. Let's see, a mentor is a person who recruits or brings a new CEO into the business. They're called a mentor. So we call them, um, like I would be a mentor to um, Diane and Diane would be a mentor to Denise. Um, help you there. Let's see here. Some other really important things, um, bonus volume. Monthly coaching commissions are calculated based on bonus volume of the sales of CEOs in your downline. Bonus volume is calculated at 70% of your downline's PCV. Bonus volume on sales of other items such as gift packs, coffee, and specialty items is determined by item that, and maybe less than 70%. Um, so most of the time, bonus volume is based on 70%. Um, there are a couple special circumstances, um, but bonus volume is what your upline um, is paid. You know, um, and I'll go into that a little bit more. Let's see here, the, oh, um, super important, pay rank or paid as title um, can be different than your career title. We don't need to go too far into this, um, but just know that we pay you based on your pay rank title or paid as title. Um, CEOs are paid at which the title they qualify during the calendar month. If in any calendar month they fail to achieve, let's scroll up, achieve the pay rank or their recognized career title, they are paid at the lower rank and to which they qualify. Um, so that means like if I hit senior director last month, but this month I'm on track to hit director, this month I would be paid as director um, if that's the title that I hit. Okay. Um, one thing as you start to grow your business and bring on a downline, um, one thing to note is that you if you one day decide to stop um, pursuing VO One Hope as a business, um, if you are inactive for four consecutive months, then um, inactive means you did not sell $250 or more for four consecutive months, um, then you are at risk of losing your downline. Um, so that just means that, um, you know, it's very important to continue to build your business so that you can help support your downline and provide um, to be a mentor to your downline. Um, you know, one way that we track that is, you know, through um, your personal sales. So we just want to um, make sure that you're continuing to grow your business so that your downline can receive the support they need. Um, you know, if you are not continuing to grow your business and having personal sales, then, um, you know, you are at risk of losing your downline um, and compliance will reach out to you and let you know that you're at risk. Um, let's see here. That's everything in the key terms that I had to go through. Um, the next thing we're going to go through right now is the compensation plan. So let me grab a glass of water. So this is the compensation plan doc. Um, you can find this in VIA University. I think I said that earlier. Um, so the three building blocks to growing your business um, is booking and one, number one is booking and hosting events. Um, so we do, um, you know, you do have benefits and preferred pricing and impact and of course fun. So um, let's actually, Keep going here, hold on. So there are two ways to earn commission in our comp plan. The first way is your personal commission. 
Um, you can earn up to 25% on all personal sales from tasting events, um, bulk orders, corporate gifting, fundraising, online purchases within any calendar month. So if you sell $1 to $1,499, your personal commissionable volume will be 20%. In personal commissionable volume, your commission would be 20%. If you sell $1,500 or more in personal volume, which is also PCV, personal commissionable volume, you would earn 25% commission. It is important to note that you would earn, if you sold $1,500 or more in a given month, you would earn 25% commission on, the, on your whole month sales. Um, so it, it does um, do, um, it does like backdate it, you know. So if your sales from the first through the date that you sold $1,500 or more, you would still earn that 25% commission total. Um, and the override commissions, that's what we call this, um, the 5% override commissions um, are paid at the end of the month. So it'd be paid on your um, commission payment on the first of the month. And then your coaching commission, you can earn up to 17% on your team's activity and total commissionable volume for any given calendar month when you coach and mentor others. So that is talking about your downline. So you can earn up to 17% of the sales of your downline. So that's pretty exciting. Um, that's a huge incentive. Um, so, um, you know, I go through this in my first call or my first training um, on how to set up your HyperWallet account. Um, you can reference here if you haven't done that yet. So you can make sure you get paid correctly. Um, it's, this is, let's see what page this is. This is page seven of the compensation plan, so definitely review this if you have not set up your HyperWallet account yet. Um, so this is a, an overview of the different paid as titles that we have. So we have basic CEO, we have an associate CEO, a senior CEO, and director. Today we're just gonna go up to the director, just not to overwhelm you. Um, so let's just keep going. Here's an overview of the career plan. Same thing as what I just went over. Um, so once you hit director or above, you have the ability to earn a director cash bonus. Um, so what this is, is once you hit director for four consecutive months in a row, or any of the above, you know, senior director or executive director, for, um, for sorry, for four consecutive months in a row, you would then earn this cash bonus. So if you or a, a member of your team earns director for four consecutive months or more, um, you would earn $500. It's a one-time payout too. Um, so we have a lot of people that are earning them right now. You might see them in the community page. Um, I think we've had a couple executive directors, so that's really exciting. So they're earning a bonus of $5,000 because uh, they hit executive director for four months in a row. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, so this is our first um, title uh, advancement. It's Associate CEO. The requirements for this is to be paid as type to be a paid as title as Associate CEO is one personally recruited active um, CEO. So that means you have one person on your downline um, on your first downline. And um, you have $250 in personal commissionable volume and a $500 organizational volume, which if you think of your own sales, you have to be, you have to sell 250 or more um, to be considered, you know, to earn this title. And your, your active CEO has to do the same because to be considered active and qualified, they have to sell 250. So there, there is your $500 in org volume. Um, the reward for this title achievement is 2% on all level one BV. So that's really exciting. You'll, you'll earn 2% on the bonus level or bonus volume um, of your first uh, downline, your first level. And senior CEO, 
um, is the one above, you know, associate CEO. So to be a senior CEO, you have to have two personally recruited active. So that means you have to have two CEOs that are qualified on your first line. You have to have $500 of PCV, that's personal commissionable volume, of your own personal sales, um, and $2,000 in organizational volume. And the reward is 3% on all level one BV and 2% on all level two. So that's really exciting. So if you bring on two people or more on your first line, then um, you would encourage them to also recruit and build a team. So that is why we start to pay you on your second level. That's really exciting. The next title is director. So the director is four personally recruited active CEOs, means you have four qualified active CEOs on your first line of CEOs. Um, your personal commissionable volume is $1,500, and your organizational volume is 5,000. And that is your total org volume. So that is every person that's on your tree. That's their sales or their um, PCV. So um, just keep that in note. Um, so you'll earn 6% on your level one, 3% on your level two. And if you hit director four times or four consecutive months in a row, um, you would earn a one-time $500 director bonus. So that's really cool. Um, this is going to be the end of the compensation plan part. Uh, the next part I'm going to go through is our Fast Start program. Um, actually, let me go ahead and see if we have any questions in, about the compensation plan. Hold on. Let me see if I can get to it. It's not letting me. Hi, Tracy. Um, yeah, so if someone on your team, um, you know, as a mentor, um, if someone on your team requests, you know, says that they're no longer wanting to be a mentor or provide support for their downline, um, then they all they'd have to do is email compliance and request that their team be rolled up um, directly to whoever their mentor is. Um, so yeah, if someone is voicing um, that they don't want to be a mentor anymore, they can definitely request that their team be rolled up. Um, that's no problem at all. Okay. So the next, oh, one more. Perfect. Um, okay. So the next portion of today's call, this is my favorite part. This is the Fast Start program. So as a brand new CEO, um, you have the ability to earn fast start points or fast start rewards um, in your first 60 days of being a CEO. So what I recommend doing is getting out your calendar, um, find you know the order receipt for your starter kit, um, or you can email support to see what day you started and um, count 60 days from there. Um, and then write down your 30 day mark and your 60 day mark and have some goals set in mind. Um, so I'll go through um, different ways to earn. That way you can set up these goals, you know, appropriately on how you feel like you wanna run your business. So we have two ways to earn Fast Start Reward Points. Um, we have booking and we have recruiting. As you can see, that's pretty much the um, trend in our business. Um, Booking, selling, and recruiting are the three building blocks to V1 Hope um, and how to run your business. And our comp plan is based on that and also our rewards are the same way. Um, so for every two qualified events, you earn $100 in Fast Start rewards. Um, that's within your first 60 days. So a qualified party is, or sorry, qualified event has a minimum of $300 in sales and is closed by the party in the party portal in the back office. 
So I'll, I'll go through how to properly close a party um, to make sure it counts towards your fast start. But um, so for every two qualified events, you earn $100 in fast start rewards. That's really exciting. Um, and then recruiting. So as you're building your team, you would encourage your new recruits to hold parties themselves, you know, for their, fa for, for their fast start. Um, so for every one eligible recruit that earns you, for every one eligible recruit, you earn $100 in fast start rewards. An eligible recruit is a new CEO who signs up within your first 60 days and goes on, goes on to hold their own two qualified parties. Um, so as you can see here, the rewards can really add up. Um, there's no cap on either of these. So if you decided to book, you know, really jump in this business like crazy and um, book four to five events each month and say you held and closed um, 10 qualified events within your first 60 days, um, you would earn $500 in fast start reward points. Um, so you decided to bring on two or three new recruits um, within your first 60 days and they all held parties um, you know, two qualified parties within their first 60 days, you would earn, if you decided to bring on three, you would earn $300 in fast start rewards. So there's no, there's no cap. You know, even though we have, um, it's, it used to be called the crush award. It's now called the fast start award. Um, so you can earn $400 in fast start rewards. Um, and we call it our, our fast start award. Um, you would hold, hold and close six qualified events and one recruit uh, within your first 60 days. So you would earn $400 in fast start rewards. Um, so if you do the math, six qualified events is $300 and one eligible recruit is four. So that's how we'll, we get that $400 in fast start rewards. Um, so the sky's the limit here. Um, it really is how you want to jumpstart your business. Um, there's so many great ways to use these rewards points. Um, you can purchase reserve bottles um, for your tastings. You can purchase reserve bottles to bring to dinner parties so that you can tell everyone about um, the business that you're you know, just starting. Um, you can purchase um, gift sets. You can purchase items to grow your business. Um, we have a lot of great um, items that you can put on display um, you know, glitter bottles being one of them. They're really eye-catching. Um, I always recommend a new CEO having one of those on hand so that, um, you know, people will come up and talk to you about the business um, because the glitter bottle just get, like, gets everyone's eye. Um, but, you know, you, you can definitely take advantage of these points and use them to help boost your business. That's what the goal is here. Um, so, hold on. Okay, so I told you I was going to show, um, tell you how to close out a party. So as you book your events, I always recommend mark out three weeks from the date of the event because that's the date that the party needs to be closed by. Um, that means that you need to have all the orders entered and you need to have um, the host rewards orders entered as well. So that's the marketplace order, um, you know, for the host rewards, and then also the host donation, the local donation to a nonprofit. You got to make sure that's entered as well um, within three weeks, so 21 days after the party. Um, and then once you've done both of those things, they have to press the close party button in step six. Um, make sure that this party is closed within three weeks or by the end of your 60-day period. So if you have a party a week before your 60 day period is up, I'd recommend getting that stuff entered ASAP so that you're all set and you're not stressed out for that, um, you know, for your, at the end of your fast start timeline. Um, so definitely close your party. Parties always have to be closed um, for them to count towards your fast start. Um, so definitely take care of that. I'd hate to see you lose out on those points um, if you don't press number six. Um, so the next opportunity for you to earn points 
is the Business Booster Program. Um, so the Business Booster Program is ongoing. It doesn't have an end date. Um, we, so um, it's every month, so it starts over the first through the end of the month. And so if you sell $250 in retail sales within a month, you earn $25 in Business Boost points. If you sell $75 in retail sales within a month, you earn $50 in business boost points. And if you sell $1,500 in retail sales within a month, you earn $100 in business boost points. And you can see how these numbers, uh, the first and the last number here, matches up with our compensation plan. Um, so we're definitely um, adding some additional layers to the compensation plan with business booster points to help you boost your business um, do just that. So if you let these points accumulate for like a month or two, you can get some really nice items to help boost your business. Um, we have tablecloths, we have ice buckets. Um, if you need more catalogs or anything like that, um, you can purchase them with these business booster points. This is definitely meant to help you boost your business. So um, definitely take advantage of this every month. So make sure you sell $250 in retail sales within a month to earn that $25 in business booster points. Um, and we added in the 750 just because we, we found that there were a lot of people that were kind of in the middle. And so we wanted to give them a goal to attain um, and then also the 1500 since that is the minimum retail sales for um, director and above um, for a compensation plan. So for our new CEOs, the, op the opportunity to double dip in rewards points is awesome. So I'm just going to go through an example here. Um, so you can receive up to $600 in rewards points in your first two months. So you, if you sell 1500 in sales, that's $100 in business boost points. If you hold three tasting events, you would earn $100 in fast start points. Um, those are for the qualified events. And then for your month two, you can earn $1,500 in retail sales. Um, you would then, I'm sorry, if you have $1,500 in retail sales and you would earn $100 in business boost points. Hold three tasting events, so three plus three equals six, so that would be an additional $200 in Fast Start Rewards uh, points. And then when, if you signed up one new CEO within your first 60 days and they go on to hold two qualified events within their first 60 days, you would earn $100 in Fast Start points. So that's $600, um, but as I said, there's no cap for those Fast Start points the ones listed here. Um, so there's no cap there. So you can earn even more than 600 if you um, held more parties or brought on more um, rec recruits. Um, so definitely, um, it's very important to, um, you know, make some goals. Um, sit down with your upline mentor and see um, what type of goals you can set for yourself within your first 60 days and beyond um, so that we can um, get you growing in the business um, and grow your team. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to see if there's any questions. For host rewards, can these dollars be used towards purchase of wine? Yeah, so you can purchase um, individual bottles of wine um, with the points. Um, it would just be um, like full price bottles of wine um, that you can purchase with those points. Um, yeah, so anything that you'd like, um, gift sets, um, marketplace items, bottles of wine, um, I think even our three liters are on there. So definitely um, take a look around and see what you can use your points on and set a goal so that you um, can, you know, can purchase those items that you want to purchase with those points. Does anyone have any questions for me? Feel free to unmute yourself. I know I missed the first few minutes of the call. I have the printout of the terms you were sharing, but I don't see what the points mean. Um, yeah, so the points are um, the rewards points that I was going through. I don't think that would be in the compensation plan. Um, they're just awarded to you. Um, for Fast Start, they're awarded to you as you close your parties out. For every two qualified parties that you close out, 
Um, within your first 60 days, you would earn $100 in Fast Start rewards. Um, so those are awarded within 24 to 48 hours after you close those parties. And then um, business booster points are awarded on, by the 5th of the following month. Um, so if you earned um, business booster points for December, they would be awarded by the 5th of January. Um, and then you can go on and um, purchase items using those points. Those are all based off of retail sales. Um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what you mean by automatically generated based on what I enter in the back office. Not, okay. Yeah, so, yeah. Hi, it's Stephanie. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I thought I would just unmute instead of typing more. Yeah. So I just wanted just to confirm that it was something that is automatically generated from one hope that I don't have to enter, that I don't have to keep track of that, correct? That's correct. Okay. So there's, um, there's a section of your back office. I, we just recently made some changes. I forget exactly where you can find it. Um, but it's in one of the drop downs of your um, back office, you would um, see your total of points that you can use and then use them in the back office. Okay, that makes sense. I just want to make sure it wasn't something I had to track myself. No. Nope. Okay. Yep, got it. Thank you. No problem. Does anyone else have any other questions? Feel free to unmute yourself. Um, happy to answer. Okay, well, if no one, oh. Okay, thanks, Anne. Have a good day. Um, okay, so if no one else has any additional questions, thank you so much for jumping on today's call. Um, we will be taking, I believe, the next week or so off of these training calls, so keep an eye on the vine um, for announcements for the new year. Um, I hope everyone has a great holiday season with their friends and family, um, and we'll definitely catch up in the new year. Thank you so much. Bye.